In this video, we're going to learn how to construct a picnic bench. It's a useful construction to know since it requires only 8 logs of wood rather than the 10 required for a tripod table. It's also quicker to assemble. Caution! The project will require protective gloves, closed footwear, several persons. For the project, you will also need a wedge for splitting logs, a bow saw, a measuring tape, a small axe, a sledgehammer or hammer. You will also need a large roll of string, four two-meter wooden logs of the same diameter, four three-meter wooden logs of the same diameter, and one large log. Making a picnic bench can be split into three steps, which we'll outline for you. Step one, assembling the structure. Make two crosses using the four two-meter logs. This will make up the two ends of the bench. Then position the three-meter logs underneath the angle of each cross. Two people are needed here to hold the four corners of the logs in place. Keeping all the logs held together, position the horizontal logs so that they are 75 centimeters off the ground. Tie a clove hitch knot and then tightly wrap the string around both logs several times to bind them securely at either ends of the horizontal logs. For more information, see our video on tying a clove hitch knot. Check that the positioning of the logs is correct and that the string is tied tightly. Repeat on the other side. The two logs which make up the cross frame will rest against the horizontal logs, keeping the structure in place. Once both sides are securely fastened, spread the legs of the table to find the point at which the logs block in place, meaning the table will not move anymore. Step two, make the benches. Mark a reference point on each of the legs at around 45 centimeters off the ground. Position the final two logs horizontally on your markings. Then bind them to the legs by tying a square lashing. To learn more on this, have a look at our video on tying a square lashing. Step 3. Make the tabletop. To make the tabletop, start off by determining the right width. You can use a small branch as a reference. Mark this width several times along the large final log. Saw at the markings to obtain smaller logs of the same length. Split the logs into two. Learn more on this in our video on how to split a log. Position the split logs along the length of the table. Now you know how to build a picnic table.